hello besties how are we oh my hair really does look you're so golden anyways right excuse that i keep looking down because i am watching the class clash of creators but we'll watch right now whilst i record because it was like do i record or do i watch it i just watch it on silent <laughs> um but today i'm going to be filming a get to know me slash assumptions video um i asked for assumptions a little while ago didn't get a lot obviously because i'm not very known um and i didn't post it on my, my public <laughs> account um post it on my instagram that i use for all of this which is this account um and yes yeah, so i'm going to answer some of those and then i'm going to just do a little get to know me because i realize i'm posting but you don't really know me and i find that if i watch like a youtuber i want to know stuff about them like i don't just want to watch you like, i want to like nibble at your life like, i want to know what's going on do you know what i mean um so yeah i'm gonna do that Ooh, it's getting a little bit dense i actually um have brought my eyebrows back as well they're really dark i dyed them with hair dye <laughs> um but yeah they're really dark right anyways let's see what questions i actually got i didn't actually really read them when i got them i just like screenshotted them but i never looked back on the screenshot I love watching, the thing is right, the World Cup, I couldn't have cared less about, but get some YouTubers and a, what's that called, a pitch, see you there, like, go on then, let's get cracking, right, also Bambino Becky doing the commentating, chef's kiss. Okay, so I also did ask on Twitter, which is this account, um, but that's just like my account for everything and anyone, so follow me there because that is everything all my thoughts just blasted out loud. Right, first one, you have more online friends than in-person friends so true it makes me feel sick but um i find myself very much i give my all to people and nobody ever gives it back and i think this year i realized why am i doing that for people that um don't give me anything back like there's not really much like what is the point in that so i realized i don't want this negative energy in my life anymore i don't need it i'm not desperate to do things anymore like coronavirus has left me in the house anyway and stuff so i don't really mind okay you've had a midlife crisis already <sighs> i'm 23 and i feel like I've, I've had all my crises like i've genuinely had them all like i've had a crisis about everything look at eeyore and pascal in the background Um, oh wait, let's just check on football. Okay. Um, right, yeah, I feel like I've had 18. Like, I'm, I'm two years away from 25 and I feel like I've had all my crises. Like, every year I'm pretty sure I go through a crisis. I've had probably like three major ones, but I'm here, I've been through them. Mentally, you know. <laughs> Anyways, you take 100 photos and I only keep one not true i literally take about four and then i'm like mm, yeah it'll do but i mm, don't really have the energy to take loads also it upsets me if i see my face too often like i take a couple and then I'm like okay post get gone like i don't like to take loads and have loads of my face like, if you go through my camera roll it's all pictures of my nephew the whole camera roll is just pictures of my nephew there is no me in there like i delete my pictures as soon as i've done like upload normal taken on whatever um you right i've had so many assumptions where i'm pretty sure it's only because i have glasses um you work at a library i have glasses like i do not read books like not even to be like i'm not even smart but like i don't like, i'd love to do not get me wrong i would absolutely love to but my brain cannot concentrate like whenever i found myself reading I have to reread everything about 18 times before I actually comprehend what I've read because my, I can't concentrate for long amounts of time. Do you know what I mean? Um, you're actually really good, really smart, good grade at school. See, no, no, it's the glasses. They lie to you. You're getting a false sense of intelligence when you see the glasses. But realistically, <laughs> look at my videos. I stutter. I can't remember words. I'm so stupid. It's disgusting. I have a bit of like common sense, but intelligence, like as in like book smart, not a chance. You seem very positive to be around. This is true gospel. I am the most positive person ever. I will always bring people up, never down. I'm always so happy. I'm very much the uh, I'll make you laugh person. I will definitely make you laugh. That's for sure. Even if I'm upset, I'll make you laugh. If you're upset, I'll make you laugh. If anything's going on, I will make you laugh. Like, I can be an arsehole, but I knew I needed so you had braces your teeth are perfect um i did i did have braces for about four years 
they're not perfect anymore they've shifted because i didn't wear my retainer and so i'm getting small direct club when i get enough money i literally if you actually look at them i think it's because this flips but if you actually look at that that tooth is literally wonking out this tooth tiny this one these are like buck tooth like they're outwards um, no, they're not perfect at all. I think the camera makes them look a lot better than they actually are. Like, I'll be honest. Like, yeah, if I looked at those and I thought they were some like my teeth, I think delightful, but they ain't. It's all a lie. Social media's a lie. You want kids? I don't know. That question's always stumped me because I wouldn't say I don't, I definitely don't want kids, but right now I'm not in the position to think about having kids. So I don't know. If I found myself in a stable relationship and I was happy and healthy and had enough money and I could give it a sense of security then yes I think right now I mean obviously I don't have anyone to have a child with but even if I wanted to do it on my own I couldn't I don't have enough money I don't have a home I don't have things I would need to give a child the best life I could give um when I was younger it was a definite not a chance um no as I've got older and I've been around my nephews and stuff and I get older it's like yeah I can see that but I think you see it more when you find the person you love because then you're like oh I want a little mini us you know and then it's cute you like little kids I don't know please don't report me <laughs> starts running <laughs> no I mean but yeah like I like yeah I like little kids but like, I'm not not fucking no so i like them as much as fucking tiny down the road not jimmy down in fucking savileville do you know what i mean like i just like them i think they're cute i think they're nice but i like other people's kids when you give them back when they start crying i don't like like hearing kids cry like the other day i was on a train and respect to the mums like it's like when i worked in like shops i'd always say like, like well done thank you like you're doing a great job to mums because you know when they're like because their child's crying and everyone's like Ugh. it's like fucking hell like children cry but when I'm on a train and this kid was sat in front of me, it was kicking my legs and it was screaming. And I thought, and the mum was just literally mask off. They both had their masks off and I was literally mask on, obviously, thinking, your kid's kicking me. You ain't got your masks on. And he, and he keeps <coughs> coughing. That ain't on. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you look hella smart. Fed up. You are secretly in love with me. <sighs> it is so true. It makes me feel sick. You have a boyfriend or girlfriend? I don't know. I do not. I'm single as a Pringle. No girlfriend or boyfriend for me. Maybe one day. But I'll be very honest. I used to just, you know, like, kind of want to be with somebody. Like, I'd be like, oh, yeah. But, like, I'd always talk to somebody. There would always be somebody I'm messaging. And I'd always, because I didn't want to be alone, I always wanted to wake up and be like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. nowadays. I don't like that anymore. Like, oh, I can't do that. I haven't spoken to somebody like that in ages because I just, it's not for me anymore. Like, it's boring. Like, I don't want to text somebody every day. Like, oh, well, it's just, I don't want that routine of just that, you know? Okay, and the final assumption that I got was um, I had somebody message me and say, I assume that you're going to react to my song. And so, of course, I'm going to react to your song. So I'm going to listen to uh, Wonder Boy myself. I'm intrigued. Um, this guy seems really, really talented. I follow him, follow him on Instagram. So I'm gonna have a little a listen and see what we think, okay? Valiant. Very much Choose World XX. Vibes. being funny you could tell me that that was like xx or like or like one of these people and i'll honest to god gospel believe you that that's the song 
go listen to it. I'm not being funny. Like, not even just saying that that was incredible. I'm actually going to be listening to that. Like, genuinely. Like, why is that, like, why is that not got views? Like, you're so talented. So talented. <laughs> wow. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Wow, I'm actually shocked. Um, yeah, I'm gonna answer some of the get to know me questions now, so. Okay, first one, have you ever met someone famous? <laughs> I've met a few famous people. Um, I met, but my, <laughs> my fa favorite one is, I mean, I met, when I used to work in John Lewis, I met a few YouTubers. I met Rose and Rosie, which was the best thing ever. Like, oh my god, I don't even think I said to them, like, oh my god, I watch you, but I was just starstruck, like, oh my god, but my favourite is, um, when, I don't know what his actual name is, but when Max Brannan from EastEnders came in, and he was buying wrapping paper, and he had his cap down, and he had, like, his scarf up, and, um, all of the people that I was working with didn't want to serve him, because they were, like, starstruck, and I was like, it's Max Brannan, so I served him, and he was with his mum, and they were buying wrapping paper, and um, I was like, oh yeah, like that's two pound seventy. And then they both, just, him and his mum, just stood there like, who's paying? <laughs> they just looked at her. She was waiting for him to pay, and he was waiting for her to pay. And then he was like, Are you gonna pay, mum? And she was like, shot. Are you not gonna pay? And I was like, um, casual cold. And it was just so awkward because so I was just stood there, and they were all starstruck, and I was just like, do you want to have a pony card? Uh oh, yep. And they were both just like. And he was looking at me like, <laughs> it just stuck in my head because I, I was just like, what the hell is happening? Like, just pay, like, please. Like, you're making us not want to notice you, but now I'm looking at your face and you're sweating. Like, what's going on? Which is really weird. Uh, would you like to be famous? I'd like the money of being famous, but I don't think I'd like the um, attention of being famous. How many pairs of shoes you have? Oh my god, right, JD have a sale on right now and I bought about seven pairs of trainers, which I don't even leave the house. Like, I don't leave the house. What is the need? Um but I'll do a haul. I've got a couple more on the way. But I'll do a haul and you can see them. Last film you watched. What did I watch the other day? I watched Good Boys, which is like um a film about these like this group of boys and it's a it's very weird and it's obviously for kids but like i found myself laughing a lot at it it was like the weirdest thing i've ever seen in my life but i'd recommend it It was really enjoyable have you ever cried at a film all the time um yeah literally all the time like i think i even cried at good boys because they're such good friends <laughs> after a breakup would you rather be alone or surrounded by friends i don't really have friends so like, and 100 percent be alone mm. But I've never been broken up with, I suppose. So if I was broken up with, I'd probably want to go out a lot and be like, Bleh. Uh, Oh, dog person or cat person? I'm a lizard person. I don't mean like I'm a lizard. I know people think that that exists. I'm not that. Are you an early adopter or a late adopter? What does that mean? I don't adopt anyone. <laughs> are your grandparents still married? They are under the ground, six feet under, but hopefully, yeah. Oh, wait, hopefully, yeah. Can you dance? Yeah. Can you just bit no? Can you touch your nose with your tongue? I oh, don't know, I can't. It will end up getting lost in one of these nostrils. Can you whistle? <whistles> Describe yourself in a single sentence. I am so good and so funny. Do you eat breakfast? No. Do you have a best friend? No. Do you have a cat's phrase? No. Do you have any allergies? I do, I'm allergic to potpourri. Um, and leaves, plants, it's actually embarrassing. Do you have pets? I have my leopard gecko called Alan. And his insects, which have now apparently become my pets because I can't feed them to him because they're just too cute. Do you know any triplets? No, right, I'm bored now, <laughs> sorry, but they're boring. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go. Hope you enjoyed, or I hope you got to know me a little bit better. Oh wait, let's answer some basics. My age, I'm 23. 12 June 1998. Uh, my name's Alan Stein. I have five middle names. I'm not telling you more because I ain't got time. Um, I didn't go to university. Don't want to go to university. Um, I have three brothers. I have four nieces and nephews. Loads of cousins. I 
think that's the basics. My favourite food, I'm a little bit of a binge eater, which is actually really bad for you, but I do binge eat a lot. Um, so anything and everything. And yeah. Bye. Stay safe out there. I love you. And I'll see you.